Hey guys, this is Double D in the Morning again, and this is Double D in the Friday Morning, episode 33, The History of Cartoons, part 24, The Story of Don Mizzick, November 7th, 1926 to October 24th, 1997. He was born on September 7th, 1926 to Benford Mizzick and Lena Mizzick, but raised by his paternal grandparents in the Benton Hill neighborhood of Baltimore where he received his early training as, as a performer at the Ramsey Street School of Acting at WBOC Salisbury, Maryland. He started out an interest in ventriloquism instead of voice acting. At the age of 15, he got noticed by a radio producer at WBOC Salisbury, Maryland and was offered his own show for a season or two at WBOC where he was the sound effects department for the show. You know, kind of like Michael Winslow. A few years later, after he graduated high school, he moved back to Baltimore, where he approached the WCAO station, and he got his own one-man show. In 1944, he joined the Army for 20 months as part of the Special Services, and he was the entertainment for the troops. He was a part of the USO. Like many other early evolving cartoon voice actors, his first break became in radio, the Raggedy Andy Show, on a local network in Los Angeles which was a nationally syndicated show, and he became famous. The first big cartoon studio he ever worked with was MGM, until 57 when they closed. When MGM closed their animation department, at the time, Bill and Joe were in charge, so they shut down shop, and, and they took Don and Doss Butler with them. Don Messick and Doss Butler were frequent voice collaborators in the Hanna-Barbera days. Rough and Ready wasn't just the first Hanna-Barbera show, it was the first Doss Butler and Don Messick Hair Barbera show that they ever did together. After Rough and Ready, his next collaboration with Doss Butler was Doss's character Yogi's sidekick Boo Boo. As well as voicing one of the protagonists, he also voiced what one would view as the antagonist for Yogi, Ranger Smith. The person on the show that maintained law and order and kept Yogi and Boo Boo from selling picnic baskets. From 61 to 62 and other miscellaneous times like when they rebooted the show in the 80s and in the 70s as other characters, he was the voice of the Jetsons' dog Astro. But Astro was also on a lot of other miscellaneous cartoons that weren't the Jetsons. Also in the mid-60s, he voiced Dr. Bennett Quest, Johnny Quest's dad, in the sci-fi comic book style show The Adventures of Johnny Quest, or just Johnny Quest. He was the voice of the dog, Precious Pup, the dog of Granny Sweets in Precious Pup and Granny Sweets, where he first did his famous Muttley laugh, but as Precious Pup doing the laugh. From 64 to 66, he was the original baby voice of Bam Bam. He was the voice of Sheriff Ricochet Rabbit on Ricochet and Drip Along, where he would say things like, I hate to do this, I've got to use my Ricochet revolver. And bing, bing, bing. It's Ricochet Rabbit. His deputy drip along the coyote was voiced by Mel Blank. Howard Morris was the first Mr. Peebles, but Don Messick was the second in the second season of the Miguel Gorilla Show. This is Muttley, his most famous dog laughing character that he voiced from on Wacky Races from 68 to 69 and Dick Dasterly and his flying machines from 69 to 70, as well as the co-antagonist on Jogi's Treasure Hunt from 85 to 88. Although all the other animal characters and characters I've mentioned were quote-unquote famous characters of his, this was his by far most famous character and is still popular to this day that he voiced from 69 to 91, Scooby-Doo. From all the way from the original Scooby-Doo Where Are You show to a pup named Scooby-Doo that ended in the early 90s. He voiced the character for 22 years. In the early 70s, he also voiced... Alexander's Sebastian the Cat, which was basically a cat version of the Muttley character. It was in the original Josie the Pussycats and the redo Josie and the Pussycats in Outer Space. This is his last famous 80s animal character that he did for Hanna-Barbera, as well as just for Hanna-Barbera period. Osriel the Cat from the Smurfs. It was Gargamel's sidekick. He did the cat meows and the roars. And he voiced that character from 81 to 89. He also voiced the main protagonist, Papa Smurf, of the Smurfs, the leader of the Smurfs. This is his very last character that he did from the show called Tiny Toons Adventures, Hampton J. Pig, 
he voiced that character from 91 to 96. Well, that's it for today's video, and remember, if you liked today's video, join me next Friday for my video on Frank Welker. And remember to like, subscribe, and comment, and hit the notification bell so you know when my next video is. And this is the thumbnail for my next video, episode 34, The Story of Frank Welker. And also remember to follow me on social media at Facebook, Tumblr, Instagram, TikTok, and my Facebook fan group, Drew's YouTube fan group.